this is a, a debate, I think, between an Israeli and a, a Palestinian on uh, Morgan, Piers Morgan Channel. And then they go on to talk about the plight of the Palestinian people and maybe the historical conflict and so on. And I have great respect for people that do that. I've got to say, I really struggle with anyone who just cannot have the humanity to start by saying what happened on October the 7th was appalling, an outrage. Do you feel it was? I think Palestinians are tired of that being the starting point constantly, when right now there are 6,000 Palestinians who have been killed in Gaza, over 2,500 of them children, 33 mosques leveled, hospitals leveled. So we're tired of that being the, the main goal of the conversation. It's not the main goal. Part of it. It's the starting but point of this war. Starting... No, but hang on. It's the starting point of this war. Outside it's not the, the main goal of what I want the conversation to be. The starting point was when 750,000 Palestinians were ethnically cleansed, were expelled from their homelands uh, during the Nakba, yeah, which, which my grandparents, which my grandparents. Oh, we can't, we can't hear anymore. 1948, after the partition plan, the Jewish state yeah, now it's good. the Arabs to live prosperously and peacefully in the land. But what happened the very next day, not even 24 hours later, is the alleged Nakba, where the Arab leagues declared war on the Jewish state, that we just agreed to have our two-state solution. And what did they tell their people? Leave the state. Let us get the land back. Let's ethnically cleanse the Jewish people. And once we defeat them in this war, you will come back to the land. So the only Nakba was a catastrophe that you guys, the Arab leagues, waged a war that you could not win. And that is why, I'm sorry, your grandparents had to leave their home. That's completely ahistorical. I don't represent the Arab League. I'm Palestinian and I'm speaking on behalf of the Palestinians. But why do you find it hard to just start, given this war, this latest war that's erupted, began with a terror attack on October the 7th, why is it hard to not just say, that was terrible. I don't see you asking Regev if he condemned the slaughter of innocent civilians. She can't do it, can you? No, she can't because she's the same woman. I mean, yes. And that's, uh, of course, uh, uh, every, you know, killing of women, children is condemned uh, from any any side. What Israelis do now is a war crime too. Uh, but you can easily just say, I, I don't know what is the problem, that she cannot say that uh, this... Uh, massacre that Hamas terrorists did was wrong, you know, was uh, absolutely, I mean, um, uh, uh, she has hijab and she calls her herself Muslim, where doesn't matter what they have done to you, it is all matter to, from the point of view of a Muslim, it matters what you do too, you know, is they can respond, they can answer themselves for God, okay, God can punish them for what they do. You cannot break the law of Islam just because they broke the law. You know, because they broke the law of Islam uh, or even Geneva Convention, you know. So you cannot say that, okay, they broke it, so I have the right to break it too, you know. Uh, what I'm saying it from my uh, point of view, that uh, as a Muslim, as someone who, uh, you know, condemn the killing of Palestinians as well. So uh, I can easily uh, condemn what this uh, terrorist group Hamas did. And I can show you now that uh, Hamas leaders, they are enjoying a, a beautiful life in Qatar and you know in five-star hotels while their, their people are getting killed because they followed yes. Yes, a regime, Iranian ISIS, fascist mafia regime, you know, they followed mm -hmm. their orders. So I will show you a video as well, uh, how they live. Uh, and they were saying that uh, the guy, the leader of Hamas is two to $5 billion rich. He has many, you know, uh, assets in, in Qatar. And uh, uh, of course, these are also uh, uh, a lot because of the West as well, you know, for example, Qatar is a, a tiny country that's supporting uh, this Hamas, mm -hmm. Taliban, and then on another side, uh, our glass, the biggest US and UK, uh, you know, bases are in Qatar. They can occupy this country within 30 minutes, okay? Yes. 
Right. But they allow, yes, but they allow Qatar to do all these things to support, uh, you know, support yes. Hamas and then uh, Taliban. Yeah. Yes. 